Welcome back, everybody. This is M Dog on Fisher Online. So our last episode was during the stream yesterday, or two days ago, I guess now. And I uh, see we're down to almost no silver. We purchased the Katana X Spin 30 with the Salamo S Fox 3. And honestly, I still need to get line for this, and I want to get a second one. So probably. Probably what we save for first is a second one identical to this. And then after that, I want to purchase, this is kind of our shopping list for the, for the foreseeable future. After that, I want to get a rod pod. I just really enjoy using the rod pod, so I feel like it's the appropriate time to get it. But I don't know if I'll get that first or if I'll get the picker rods. I also don't know which picker rod I want. It may be this one, 50% experience. I wish I could see what they, maybe the difference, maybe visually they don't look that different. Maybe we go with the middle one. That way we can use 4.5 liters. Let me know what y'all are thinking if you've decided to go with, this is ultra light though. It's just give it really, it looks like the only difference is it gives us more experience. And we probably are going to be using it for the really small fish and stuff. So we could go ultralight. Let me know what y'all think, but I want to get three setups, three picker setups. I know for some people that sounds like a waste, but I just really enjoy using the picker setup. So, so the foreseeable future, that's what we're using. I guess we need to figure out what line we're going to put on. I know this is weird, but I might put carp line on our spinner. Is that a bad idea? Just nothing else, at least at this store, has the right... I mean, we, we want upper 20s, right? We want to get as close to 30 as possible. We don't want just 20. Like, I feel like we got to get line that's a little... That's stick line. We got to get line that's a little better than... Yeah, right now it would be the carp rod, uh, the carp line, maybe 25 or maybe the 30. We'll see though. We don't have to decide that right now because we don't um, really have the silver for it yet. I think what I want to do right now though is travel to uh, Ukraine. And let's go ahead and do the daily here, but mostly let's do, let's, let's go around and see if we can find some of these fish we haven't caught. Last time we were here, we caught the bream and the eyed, but I think we still need tench, right? Let's see if they have any different line here as well. Oh, they do. Okay, what's different? That stick line, grass line, that one's different but it's still not anything we would want. So it still looks like carp line. Oh, that's the only one they have here too. They don't have the multiple carp lines and uh, we still don't have enough silver for it. Okay, so let's go ahead and accept the daily quest here. I'm gonna ignore all the other quests, I think for now. What do we wanna work on? Mm. I'll tell you the other thing we were talking about in, during the stream, if you missed it, is do we want, is it worth getting some sort of, you know, like even an inexpensive uh, carp rod that we could float fish for carp? Because it seems like some of these fish, like the ones we don't have, the silver carps, they might respond better to, uh, to match rod fishing. I don't know. Look at this. All right, so grass is on both. Yes, yeah, so we should use grass boily. So now the question is just where are they, right? All right? Is that what we want to go for first? We want to give that a good go. We could probably go for tension, whatever spot we end up, maybe at the same spot. Try worm imitation. Do we have that already? Yeah, we do. 
Okay. Well, let's get on the boat and kind of just scope some areas out, see where we want to try to catch those carp. Typically, those... I'm thinking we may just end up doing our fishing from the boat, honestly. Typically, those type of carp are in similar places to where... I know what I think I want to do. Are in similar places to where the um, grass carp might be. So I'm wondering if we go across here, some of these areas, see what it looks like over here. So we want to use grass boilies. How big are these? I wonder if we also want to go with uh, three hooks. Would that help focus in on them? No, they're not that big. Those get pretty big. All right, so this is where I think we want to start looking. Never been over here before. Let's, let's take a left up here. Let's go back in this area. So we could get out of the boat and fish from here. But I'm actually thinking we just fish from the boat. See if we can't get, get lucky here. I'm gonna go to such a sneaky place, I'm gonna find out that Wolf hasn't even added fish to the waters over here yet. Hopefully not, just kidding, but we are going off the beaten trail here. Alright, what about this area right over here? Now, the downside of having this boat... Oh, look at this tree in the water, though. You know how I like trees in the water. The downside about having this boat is if we do hit a really big one, we might, you know, have a hard time catching it. All right, let's see what we can get into. So we want to use grass carp. We're getting a little low. Grass carp stuff. That looks good. And this one we want to use the same thing. Both of these seem to at least be possible on this uh, on these grass green grass boilies. All right, and then our third setup. Um, let's use a size one hook and let's just try some of this worm imitation without any ground bait or anything. Let's just see if there's any what random fish we might catch over here. If anything at all. I mean again, it might be there might not be fish over here. But I thought it'd be fun to just try somewhere really different. See see what we can discover. Let's start thinking about what ooh. And if we're catching small fish over here, we can switch to our a smaller setup. But I just didn't know what we might hook into, so I thought, hey, let's just play it safe and use our big boy setup. All right, there's a little perch. We'll try it a little longer. See what happens. All right, so what are we going to go for next? 
So right now we're going for the two silver carp and the tench, which could take a long time. We just, we just don't know. Probably every spot we go to, we ought to just throw out a float ride with, with fly on it. We ought to just have that set up in case. Just in case. What does float load mean? Does anybody know? I actually don't know what that means. Or what changing that would do. It's interesting though. All right. Let's see what we get on here. What we're trying to do is avoid wild carp. We want to find a spot that gives us probably the silver carp and the grass carp might be mixed in together. That's what I'm guessing. So if we see a grass carp, it doesn't necessarily mean we need to switch spots. It could be that, um, could be that it's a good sign. This does look like a grass carp, right? All right. We do have a freezer here, so we can always freeze fish if we start running out of space. Uh, my memory of it is that maybe you get a little less silver for the frozen fish, because maybe because they're not as fresh, but I don't know that for sure. Are there any good guides to like how some of the mechanics work and stuff? How to screenshot? The system of cast cir circulation within the club. Uh, hmm. We'll see what we call it this time on the imitation worm. Thinking about changing that to another bait. Let's look again at what the tench are called on. I mean, it seems like crawfish tails is usually the like best, the go-to thing, but. All right, is that a little grass carp or did we actually get a silver carp? Yes, that's all we needed, silver carp motley. Okay, so maybe we're in a spot here. So now we need the other silver carp. One silver carp down. So 
So the reason why we're doing all this, if you don't know, is to try to get the bronze medal for the Ukraine map. Typically it will unlock new travel points and new, new daily quests for that map. Although I've noticed that both of those don't seem to happen like immediately. That sometimes it, is this a wild carp? Is every type of carp on the map here in this location? Oh, maybe this isn't a wild. Yeah, that is a wild. Okay. Yeah, I just, I really think crawfish tails is the safest. Um, I mean, the most reliable. So let's try that for a little while. Alright, so, for all of you club members, this is your chance to vote. Would you rather I first put points into income or experience? So, points in experience is going to give us 1% increase gain from fishing. And then income, 1% increase the income from sales of fish for all club members. So, which one would you want me to prioritize? Doesn't matter to me. All right, this might be a tinch right here. That is a tinch, isn't it? Tinch look a little weird in this game. That is. All right, beautiful. All right, so now with, since we know that the, the Motleys are here, let's assume the Whites are here too. Do we try it on Shiner Live Bait? Size two hook, Shiner Live Bait. Let's just see what happens. We could also, is that gonna be too heavy? That's a little too heavy. There we go. Also put a little bit of this grass carp ground bait on there. See if that helps. We didn't throw it very far. Okay, so now let's hope that we successfully finish this. We need to start thinking about what we want to do next. Which fish we want to go for next. Oh, I'll tell you another thing. In fact, when we pull this fish in, instead of casting this one back out, I'm at least going to try for bleak real quick just to see. Not hard to do this daily quest when you're uh, catching carp, is it? We're already up to almost 20 kilos. I feel like the nice thing about going for bleak is, oh, is that a turtle? That's funny. I was just about to say, there just aren't that many things that we're going to catch and then we catch a turtle. But typically I'm, I'm expecting it to be a bleak or a, um, or a frog, right? A 
I changed the depth. We probably, it's probably right to be at the surface, but I was just going to try it. Pretty small. Maybe this will be the one we need. It'd be great if we could hit this other carp because then we can just really start focusing on other things. It's a tiny little fella. It is a silver carp, but which one is it? A motley again. We've already gotten that one. Let's try back at the surface here. Yeah, we need the silver carp white, the smaller one. Pretty good bite rate over here. Now at night time, we're gonna have to switch something else because I think the wild carp will just take over at night. Feels like wild carp are really active. Now maybe these other species are too, but when I think of wild carp, I do think of nighttime. So what does that look like? If it's wild carp, it's skinny. No, it's not wild carp. All right, let's see which one this is. It might just be a grass carp. Can't get a good look at him. Oh, it's a motley again. We're on the motley, aren't we? I guess we just got to get lucky and hit a silver. I mean, a white. Just throw this out straight ahead for a minute. See if anything in the middle bites. Oh, hello. This could be a bleak. Oh, it's another turtle. Come on. Those turtles are funny. We don't have a weird, like, motley quest, do we? No. I am so curious to see what this is on bait fish or on the shiner. But on the other hand, I don't want to put this one down. Even though this is a bit of a hard one to get in. By the way, this boat's probably too big to really chase down a fish. So if we get into one that's spooling us i mean we can chase after it a little bit but that probably will mean that we'll lose the fish um most likely oh this is a pretty one i this is just might just be a bigger motley though oh yeah very cool all right let's see what this is Ooh. 
Alright, might not be the fish we're after with that kind of pull. doesn't look like a carp at all does it no we hit into we, we got a pike okay so that makes sense so pike are going after this there's probably a better way to try to do this uh if we're gonna be hitting pike and stuff like that wouldn't you think and no sign of bleak i think i think we can I think we can um, resign ourselves to this isn't going to be where we catch the bleak. <sighs> That's interesting that peas... We can try that. Let's give peas a try. I'm guessing we'll just catch a bream or an eyed or something, but we'll try it. We're going to run out of this stuff. We probably... Once it gets to be nighttime, if we switch spots or something, we probably ought to go um, got, go get some more of that. We've got some random fish right now. But we're doing good going for the fish we're going for. We've made two pretty quickly here. I almost want to just... Okay, so Wells Catfish. We can try to get lucky on one of those. Frog, bait fish maybe. Uh, just pick a deep spot on the map somewhere once it's nighttime. Chinese sleeper, zero hook with that fake bait. Maybe that would work. Zero hook fish pieces. We could try that. I almost don't want to leave this spot till we try a few other baits in case some of the other fish we need are here. But I'd love to knock this silver carp white off. Even with the upgraded uh, Grindmaster, I mean, we're just, the weight, if you're carp fishing, it just, it adds up quick. It really does. It is getting pretty close to nighttime. I mean, I, I think we could just go like right out into here see if there's a catfish out there. I mean, sure, we could go out into here as well, but I bet there might be a catfish out here. And if we're going for catfish, we could also potentially get like a sturgeon in the same spot for using mollusk pieces or a sturlet. We need to hit a small Persian though, if we're gonna get it in. It's gotta be a small one. Really, same with the catfish. I mean, it can't be a huge catfish either. We're nine kilos away from finishing the daily.
All right, this is the first fish on peas. Let's see what we got into here. I'd say this is too big to be a bream. Now it could be an eyed because I'd put up much more of a fight than their size makes you think they will. And the way it's swimming around like that, actually I think this probably is an eyed. Could be wrong though, let's see. No, I'm not sure. I gotta tell you, this is one of this is one of the carp. Is it just the question is is it the right one? Oh, it's a wild. All right, we're going to need to notice if we all of a sudden just start. Um... Start getting a bunch of wilds moving in as nighttime approaches. Kyle Kidd just said he went to the Netherlands map and it was pretty overwhelming. I think we can go to that map now, but I kind of want to wrap up some of these earlier maps a little bit more before we do. Although if I get the bug, we'll just, you know, go try it. I'm trying to picture what that map is. I honestly can't remember. We are so close. We're like one kilo away from this daily. So almost no matter what this is, we'll finish it. Well, I don't know. I mean, I just kind of think like, okay, you know, we know how to try to get this, this carp. We could try a different spot, but I feel like a spot like this is where we want to do it. Um, probably not the main river, one of these little side areas. Just have to be patient, keep trying it. But I'm about at the point of thinking like, okay, let's just go try some other stuff. Trying to visualize what that Netherlands map looks like. It's a level 20. I'm just wondering, is this the one where you're just on the shore and you don't have a boat? I think that one's pretty good for like bream and stuff, if I remember correctly. All right. Do we want to sit here just a little bit longer? I'm also thinking uh, next fish we catch, we'll put some different things in, put a different bait in. All right, what would we want to try here? Try a little blood worm. Bloodworm or fish pieces, just real quick on a zero hook. Mm, I may be getting, honestly, I may be getting confused with a map from Fishing Planet. Like, I can visualize it, but until I go there, I won't know if I'm thinking of the right map. I guess I could look it up real quick. Why? <laughs> Honestly, this is like kind of embarrassing, but I just found. Once again, welcome back. This is M-Dog. So we're at the level 
Winnie map, which is Netherlands, and and I do remember fishing here. Now that I've been here, last video I talked about like I'm not like, sure what Netherlands was. This is one of my least favorite maps. Now, to be fair, there's probably some pretty good fishing that can be done here, um, that I just haven't found. All we're doing is like trying to target bream. Um, we're also catching crucian carp, which in this game I guess is different than crucian. Uh, these get up to like three, four, five kilos max, something like that. Huh. Interesting. Um, we are getting to use when was this? Green. It's funny how I hardly remember something and it's really not that long yeah, ago. Cool. It's night. I still don't know if that's exactly what I was visualizing though. I really think I'm thinking of a map from Fishing Planet. But I did have in my mind, okay, Netherlands, isn't that that place where I go for bream? <laughs> All right, let's see what we got here. This first rod has been the most active for by far. In the spot where we've had it cast, that's a wild carp. Ooh. You know, it's basically just turned to nighttime. Pretty much expecting this to be a wild carp. I guess we're going to get this one in. Wasn't sure at first, but it's slowing down enough. Well, we got two fish. Two fish. Chance for one of them to be what we want. Uh-oh. Don't get off. Keep, keep that fish on there, please. I want to see what that is on peas. There it goes. Good. All right, let's get a look at this. Uh, wild carp, right? That's what I'm expecting. It's just another wild carp. These wild carp can get really big, by the way. We probably don't want to get caught with a really big wild carp if we don't have a, a different boat than this available. I don't know what that is. I think it's a wild carp. Yeah. That's a nice one too. That's a really nice one. Oh, wild carp are even taking the peas, huh? Okay, so let's do this. So I put one, I put blood in there with on a one hook, and then we're gonna try, yeah, blood worms. and fish pieces with zero hooks. Just see, Just see what's see what's right here. If anything. 
What was, which one of those was, was it this one? All right, which one is this, the blood worms? All right, rough. It's that time of night. That rough is just slightly too big for live bait. We got another. Uh, we got another card. I think it was a nightcrawler card. So that's our second of four. Well, nightcrawler. It's a loach, isn't it? What are we going for with bloodworms? It gets up towards a kilo. Like, could we try a large one hook? See if we can dodge, like, the tiny stuff, like the loach and the... But really... Yeah, I don't know. It might be worth trying. Just depends on if these are active at night, right? We've got two fish we could catch on Bloodworm that we haven't caught yet. Alright, so this definitely is not a loach. Did this work? I don't think so. So there's Bream in this spot, potentially. All right, we've had this in forever and it's not doing anything. So let's try putting this on a zero hook instead of a one, which means we will switch to, to this because it just makes more sense. Oh, it's too heavy. Oh, it's five grams, okay. Let's try that for a minute, and then we'll move on. All right, so P's got wild carp. Pretty much just wild carp. Yeah, I don't know. <coughs> Bless you. I think they're so active during the night, wild carp are. It's hard for me to imagine that that's when you would catch one, but I could be wrong. I could be wrong on that. Okay, kind of feels like none of this is working. It's nighttime. I mean, that could really, uh, these fish that we're trying to catch may just not even be active at night. This might be the time we should just try to go hit a catfish or something. So let's fast travel. Get rid of all these fish. Probably made 100 and 200 silver, maybe 300 silver. Take it. Technically we have enough to get the line, but I don't think we want to get the line here. There was less options. What was I wanting to get though? The, um, more of the grass carp, right? Grass silver carp. Is there anything else we need? Probably not. Is there another boat that's a little smaller that we could more easily chase? Like I think this one would work better. Maybe this is fine. Let's see. If we had a fish on, could we hold the rod at the same time though? No. 
So that's the problem, right? All right, is that the difference? Am I, am I, or am I, am I remembering this right? Oh, that's the same boat, isn't it? Yeah, this is what we want. Okay. So we're gonna just go right out here right out here which means we can have two rods out it's too bad we don't have our spinner rod because we could um we could try to hit something i guess we could use our lighter spin setup i just hate to mess it i mean maybe we just try to hit a catfish for now let's just try to do what we're trying to do cute little boat and we do have a couple rod holders back here we'll just hold the third rod I guess all right so we're, we're gonna want to have big boy rods and we probably ought to check the check the leader we're good all right what size hook do we want we can start with two let's do a frog on one And where are we? Oh, we're past it. And try a bait fish. Or we try a mollusk piece. Wait, do I not have any mollusk pieces? We might have to get one of those. All right, we'll try a bait fish for now. Here we go. This should be good. Can we stand up from here? Oh, we can. This is brilliant. Okay. Oh, don't spin. All right, should be fine. So we kind of want to hold it until it hits the bottom, right? We're still spinning. So what are we trying to trying to knock the catfish off first? So mollusk pieces. I, I think we should purchase a couple. We'll get five of them for how much? 135. So I'll probably end up switching it out, but let's see how this goes. Okay. All right, how do you do this? I remember there's a way to release the Kraken. No, release the... I can't remember.
Huh. Okay, I'm kind of surprised. How long do we wait? Maybe we go try out in the deeper. The deeper area. Especially at night, I feel like the catfish do move around some. I think I want to put mollusk on this one and hold the bait fish. Yeah, I don't know about that. I mean, it's surprising, but. Alright, Mr. Pringles, if you happen to see this video, let's try to be a little bit more active. We just have limited club spots. Want to make sure we got people in here that are enjoying the game. Or at least send me a message to let me know what's going on if you are got something going on IRL that make, makes you be off for a while. got to make sure that we have a full leader on here for what we're trying to do right now. All right. Also wondering, should I just not cast it until we're completely stopped moving? Because it potentially is dragging those, right?
did he say anything about starving? The nice thing about, I think I talked about this last time, but the, the nice thing about Fisher Online is unlike RF4, I don't get stuck in this situation. Um, in other words, if I get a fish on line one on the left and I want to keep the line that I'm holding in the water, I can actually switch which rod is in the holder without disrupting anything. Or of course I could just reel in this one and then switch over to the first one. I think this would probably be more fun if I had this my my stronger spinner set up completely ready to go instead of holding a third feeder actually spin fishing with like a something that might catch stuff at night probably be the way to go but I think we need to be in this boat just to give us a chance we still totally could hook into something we won't be able to get in but to at least have a chance. All right, so none of this other stuff makes me think of nighttime, right? This does say it's a carp species. Oh, it's barbel, that's what it is. Yeah, we should try this, like, maybe in one of the pond areas. I don't know. Why haven't we ever caught a nace yet? That's just weird. Is this going to be rare? Some of these fish, this, this, this map could take a while. I don't know how rare some of these fish are. Plus, it's such a big map to find the right spots to try for them. I'm surprised we haven't even had a nibble out here. At last spot too. Probably could have waited at the last spot. I don't there's no reason why we wouldn't have found a catfish over there, I don't think. So, I mean, you got to imagine that your average catfish is going to be around 10 kilos, right? Maybe less even. So hopefully we'll be okay if we can get a smaller one of those. Sterlet, we should be fine. Persian sturgeon, like, I don't even know. We got to catch a really small one. I think that's going to be the largest, largest fish. I've never confirmed that you can catch a fish holding a feeder rod like this in Fisher Online. I, I just don't see any reason why it wouldn't work. But. Maybe we should try for bleak out here. <laughs> We certainly could bring the bigger boat out and then just take a chance whether or not the fish we hook into we can get in. But this is interesting. What's happening here? Oh, so I had I had hit something, 
It moves the rod. That's funny. Just doesn't seem to be doing it. For one reason or another. Ooh. Maybe I did it too soon? All right, we'll try something real quick. Then we'll wrap it up for this first episode of tonight. But let's just see if this works at all. We should be able to get off here, right? Yeah. So the question is, uh oh. What have we done? So the problem here is going to be I don't think we're going to be able to get we can't pull it into the shore I don't think we're gonna be able to get it there's just no way we're gonna be able to get close enough in this spot to pick up one of these All right, I'll be right back
Still nothing, huh? Yeah, we just haven't figured this out yet. cool little area it seems like at one time well I don't remember I feel like this little area was interesting though I think chances are we just want to be in a deeper area for what we're fishing with. All right, let's go ahead and wrap this up now. We do have enough silver. We can use the, um, oh, our lines are still down there. All right, let's wrap it up. Thanks for watching. I I'll be back. We're, I mean, we'll, we'll probably work on another episode tonight, trying to get a few more of these fish if we can figure them out. We had some success, but, uh, couldn't get the catfish for some reason. We'll try again. All right. Thanks for watching.